Hi there! Today we will be going over the capabilities of Fabric Connector for Azure. Fortinet Security Fabric Connectors provide deep integration into partner environments and platforms, enabling teams to automate security and simplify operations. Developed by Fortinet, connectors leverage the open security fabric architecture to make complex integrations as easy as a simple click. We will be showing you how to create the Azure connector and how to create a dynamic address using the Fabric Connector for Azure. Let's get started. First, let us go into FortiGate and navigate to the Fabric Connector page. In this case, we have already created a Fabric Connector for Azure. Let us double click on the connector. In order to connect to an Azure environment, you need to fill in your tenant ID, client ID, and client secret. In order to get a client ID and client secret, you must create and register an application in your Azure environment. Let us confirm we have an application registered on Azure. In Azure, on the left pane, go to Azure Active Directory. Under App Registrations, we see that there is already an app registered. If we click on it, we can see that the client ID and tenant ID. We will copy this information to use on our Fabric Connector in FortiGate. To get the client secret, we will need to go to Certificate and Secrets in the application. Now that we have verified that we do have an application for the FortiGate to connect to, fill in the necessary information on the FortiGate Azure Connector page and click OK. Notice that Fortinet's Fabric Connector for Azure have the ability to be very granular in that you can select specific regions as well as specific subscriptions and resource groups. After entering the credentials and creating the connector, select Policy and Objects on the left pane and select Addresses. We will now demonstrate how to create a dynamic address on FortiGate. Click on Create New to create a new address. Enter a name for the address and select the type of address you will be creating. For this demo, we will be pulling a web server's public IP address from Azure using the Fabric Connector. We will then show that any changes made in Azure will reflect on this address dynamically. Under SDN Connector, we will select the connector we created in the previous step. Under Filter, we will select the web server. After clicking OK and refreshing the page, you can see that the address was pulled dynamically from Azure. Going into Azure, we can confirm this. As you can see, the public IP address was the same. Let us go ahead and change the public IP address on Azure and see if the change was reflected on FortiGate. As you can see, the change was reflected. Using addresses pulled from Fabric Connectors allow administrators to apply easy security automation and allow security to be done without impacting operations. Thank you for watching and see you next time.